Okay, let's jump right into customizing Llama 3, which was just updated about 16 minutes ago here on the Olama website. So if you haven't already, go ahead and search for Llama 3 on the Olama website. If you don't have Olama already installed, check out the two videos down below in the description. I have a video on how to install and set up Olama on both Macs and on Windows. So go ahead and check that out before we get going. So this is Llama 3 that just dropped today, we're gonna show how you can go about customizing this model with system prompts and different parameters that we have available. So if you haven't already, go ahead and navigate here, check it out, read some documentation here. We're gonna be using the Llama 3 8 billion parameter model. And for those who aren't familiar, you can get some different information around the model here on the model card. So first thing I'm going to do is jump over into the terminal so that we can start running some Olama commands to pull down Llama 3 onto our computers. Okay, I've got my terminal pulled up here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is run the Olama list command, which will list all the models that I have installed here on Olama. As you can see, I don't have any in install. So the next thing that I'm going to do is run Olama pull, and I know the model that I want is the brand new Llama three model here and I want the eight billion parameter model. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this, take a few minutes to download it, and then come back after it's done completing its download. Okay, I'm back at the terminal here and we can see that Llama 3 has officially downloaded onto my laptop. Now the next command that I'm going to run is Olama run and Llama 3 8 B. Just to make sure everything's functioning properly. I am going to ask it a very simple question. Write me some sample Python code. All right, so we can see that it's printing out some output here and writing me some sample Python code. So I am going to stop that because we know it's running. I am going to type in slash phi to exit the model, and clear this out. Now, the next step that we're going to take is we're going to actually customize this model the system prompts and some of the parameters to just make it more customized to our particular needs maybe we want the system prompt to say certain things so that's why you would go about customizing your own version of the model here so i'm gonna jump into vs code and we'll walk through how to create a custom version of llama 3. okay i have vs code open up here and i have a file called custom dash llama 3 pulled up here on my laptop. You can call this file whatever you want, but you'll have to be sure when we type in the command to reference our model file that you're typing the correct name of your file here. And you, also, you could just type this in text editor if you wanted to. I'm using VS Code because it has an integrated terminal. Now, we're gonna briefly walk through each line here of what it takes to create your own model file. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is call from llama3 colon 8b. Now this is our base model that we're gonna be using here. We're gonna be using the base llama3 8 billion parameter model as our starting point for our custom model. So that's why you have the from llama3 colon 8b. Now one thing to call out here, the from is not case sensitive. You could type that in all lower cases if you want, but the convention when creating your custom model files is to type in all caps there. Now that's the reason that we have the from llama3. Now the next thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna set up some custom parameters. Now you have to set these correctly for each model or when you create your custom model, then your output will be incorrect or you may see some weird output if you don't type these parameters correctly here. Now I'm just going to go here and the first parameter that I am going to set is temperature. By default, the underlying temperature is 0 0.08 or 0 0.07 for most of the models. So we're gonna say, we're gonna set this temperature to one. So this is gonna make the model as creative as it can possibly be. That's what the value of one means when we set a temperature parameter. And if you're used to playing with OpenAI and things like that and other large language models, this parameter here shouldn't be foreign to you at all. Now. We're gonna set some other parameters here that I'm going to just paste in. These are our stop parameters. Now these are set based on the model. Now you can get these values here 
by going to look at the model card on Olama. So let's jump back over into the browser so you can understand how I came up with these parameters here and it's not just something that I'm making up. Okay, we're back at olama.com and we're at the Llama 3 model here. Now, I am just gonna show you how I came about getting the stop parameters. Now, what you're gonna do is go down to this section here and go to params and then click on that. Now, we can see that the stop parameters are these sets of values here. So you're gonna take these values one by one and add them individually like I did in my model file. So again, each model is going to be different. So if we're customizing Minstrel, you would have to make sure that you were actually using their stop parameters. Okay, so now you know how I came about those stop parameters. We're gonna go back over into our model file. Okay, I'm back in my model file here in VS Code here, and now hopefully you have a better understanding of how I came about getting these stop parameters. Now the process is the same for any model that is hosted on olama.com. So you can follow this process for any model there. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we need to actually have the template that this model uses to produce its output. Now I'm gonna grab that and paste that in so you can see it. And again, we'll jump back over to the model file so you'll know exactly how did I get these values. Now I'm gonna paste that in here. And this is the template for the Llama 3 model. Here. Now let's jump back over into the browser so you can see what that looks like in the model card here. Now we're back here at the Llama 3 model card here and where we get the template information is right here where we click template and the model card location. Now we can see the template here that we need to use for the model to produce output properly for us. So all I've done is copy this value here and then pasted that into my model file. So that's all it is to it. Again, this process is the same for any model that you want to customize that's on olama.com. All right, so now let's jump back over into VS Code and set up our last parameter. Okay, so we're back here in VS Code and we're gonna set up our last parameter, which is going to be our system parameter, which is basically our system prompt. Now, I am gonna use this as my system prompt here. I'm just saying you are a helpful AI assistant named Llama3Droid. So that's all I'm going to set. You can set it to whatever you want. You can even make this a little bit longer if you wanted to. But for this example here, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple here. So that's all it is here for us to create our model file. So now we need to create our new model based on this model file here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save here. And the next thing I am going to do here is open up terminal. So I'm gonna go here and I have my terminal window open. Now I'm gonna type in the Olama command to create our new model. So we're gonna type in Olama and then we're gonna type create. And then I'm just gonna call this my llama3 model. You can name it whatever you want to. Now the next thing we need to do is set the file flag. So this is gonna be where is my custom model located? My model is located in this current directory here. So I can just reference custom-llama3 because again, that's what I named my model here. And I can simply hit enter. So I'm gonna hit enter here and it ran pretty quickly here. It's just transferring the model, reading the model metadata, and then creating the model layers there. So that's all it is to create my custom model with the create command. Now let's see if our model shows up for us. I'm gonna type in Olama list and we can now see that I have the Llama 8 billion parameter model and then Llama latest here with the latest tag. And the last model that you can see here is my llama 3 dash model that we just created a few seconds. Now let's go ahead and test out our model to see how it functions. I'm gonna just go ahead and open up a brand new terminal window so that you can have a better view. Okay, we're back at the terminal here and we're gonna test out our models. Now the first one we're gonna test is the baseline model for llama 3. Now I'm gonna ask it, what is your name? And it says it doesn't have a personal name there. So we don't expect it to give us a name. So let's exit out of it. So that's the base model. Now let's use our new model here, which is the My Llama 3 model. And we're going to type in Olama run and then my model name. And just a heads up, you don't have to add the tag 
at the end if you don't want to. You only need to use the tag when you're calling out certain parameter counts. So if I had llama 3, 8 billion parameter and llama 3, the 70 billion parameter model, I would have to do that to call those particular models. All right, so let's ask this model, our custom model. Remember, we set the system prompt to be llama 3 droid. What is your name? And you can see, hello there, my name is Llama3 Droid, but you can call me Llama for short. So that's just an example of how you can customize certain parameters such as your system prompt, your temperature, and things of that nature with a custom model file. Now let's ask it one more question. Can you write me a simple Java program? and it's writing me a simple Java program. So it still functions as it did before. It's just we added new parameters on top of the base model there for you. So that's what we did to make this model our own. Now I'm gonna exit out of here and type in slash buy. And the next thing I'm going to do is show you where you can check out other parameters that we could have set in our model file. Okay, I'm here at the Olama documentation on GitHub here. I'm at the Olama model file documentation. Now we can see the different options that we have here when we want to create a model file. And some of these things we've already gone over. But like I said, I wanted to show you where you could get other information related to other parameters that you could set. So I'm going to go to the parameter section here and click on that. And there's a host of other parameters that I could have set. So for example, I could have set the context window to be larger if that model supported a larger token context there. Or I could also set the things like top K or top P if I want it to. Also, you can see where you had the stop parameter and the temperature parameter. So that's where a lot of these different things came from. I will put this link into the description section. Also, the link to the model file will be in a GitHub repo if you want to pull that and alter it to create your own model files. Like I said, you'll have to create a model file for any model you want to customize on Olama anyway. So you're probably wondering, okay, I've got a custom model. How can I go about using that model in an application? Well, check out the two videos that show up on the screen on how you could go about building your very own Olama chatbot. And if you like this video and the content, hit like, subscribe. I try to put content out like this on a weekly basis. Appreciate you hanging around to the end of the video. Hope you like it and have a great day.